Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Portainer on a Proxmox LXC running Debian. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, a little bit about Portainer. It makes Docker and Kubernetes management easy. It uh, is really easy to manage your containers in Docker. Um, it's lightweight service delivery platform for containerized applications that can be used to, to manage Docker, Swarm, K K Kubernetes, and ACI environments. It is designed to be simple to deploy as it is to use. The application allows you to manage all your orchestrator re resources, containers, images, volumes, networks, and more through a smart uh, gu GUI or an extensive API. Partainer consists of a single container that can run on any cluster. It can be deployed as a Linux container or a Windows na a native container. So that's a little bit about what we'll be installing. So I'm going to start on Proxmox via helper scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go up to the search box and type Docker. And then th th here you go. We copy this and then we can go over to GitHub right now and look at what it's going to be installing. So you're going to go to the search, you're going to type Docker, and then the CT right here. So it sets some uh, default variables, uh, default uh, settings right here, and then it updates the script if this is run on an LXC instead of on the actual shell on your node. And then start, build container, description, and then complete it successfully. I'm going to go over here to search again and type in Docker. I'm going to go to install Docker. So, um, it's going to install some dependencies. So, curl, sudo, mc. And then it's going to get the latest release right here. And it's going to uh, set a variable, a, um, a function, I mean. And then it's going to set some variables down here. It's going to use the function that we just had over here to install a Moby and then Portainer container agent and then docker compose then it's going to say installing docker and then it's going to set the docker config path it's going to make the directory for the config path and then it's going to ask the user if they want to uh, install fuse overlay fs and then it's going to say install the docker and now it's going to ask the user would you like to add portainer and then if they say yes, then it'll add Portainer right here. It's going to add Portainer CE and the latest version. And then now if the user does not accept um, installing Portainer, it's going to come up here to an else. And then it's going to ask the user if they'd like to install Portainer Agent. So this Portainer, uh, so a Portainer can actually connect to a Portainer Agent and then you'll be able to manage what's on another node. So, if the user says a yes, it's going to install Portainer Agent right here. And then it's going to come down here and ask the user another question of, would you like to add a Docker Compose? If the user says yes, then it's going to add Docker Compose right here. It's going to set up as SH, customize, and then it's going to clean up. So, apt get auto remove and apt get auto clean. So, that's a little bit about how it works. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to start on our Proxmox, and we're going to go to our node, and then shell, and then inside the shell we're going to paste in the docker command that we copied over in proxmox video helper scripts and then i'm gonna press return or enter now this will create a new docker lxc proceed yes return or enter you are currently so i'm gonna press yes on that too and then i'm gonna go over to the right 
with the right arrow. And then I'm going to press return or enter for the advanced. It's going to make a selection. You use the uh, space bar. So it's telling you to make selections with the space bar. So I'm going to press return or enter. It's going to start with Debian 12. So return or enter. And then I'm going to hit the space bar to, hit, uh, to select Debian right here. Then return or enter. And then I'm going to come down to the arrow, uh, the down arrow, then I'm gonna press the space bar, return or enter, press the space bar, return or enter. And then you can set up a root password to, to SSH into this LXC. I'm gonna say return or enter. And then you can set a container ID over here. So I'm gonna set mine to the 1000. And then now I'm going to say return or enter. And then now you can set a host name. So I'm going to um, do portainer YT. Now I'm gonna say return or enter. I'm gonna set 20 gigabytes of disk space. That's fine for two cores. And then I'm gonna set three gigabytes of RAM. And then I'm going to return or enter, return or enter, return or enter, return or enter, return, return, return. And then now I'm going to say return or enter. You can enable verbose mode, and this makes it to where you can see errors that happen in the script. I'm going to say no. I used to do left arrow, right arrow to switch these. So I'm going to say no for this. And then now re ready to create Docker LXC. Yes. Return or enter. And then now, uh, if this is a production machine, I, I would highly suggest um, setting a static IP on your router to the MAC address of this LXC. It's now started an LXC container with a thousand, was successfully created, started, set up container OS, network detected. So it set an IP address from the DHCP ser a server, and then internet connected, a DNS resolved to github.com, and then this is the IP that it resolved. Update the container OS, installed dependencies. Now it's installing Docker 24.07. This can take a bit of time to install Docker. Okay, now it's gonna ask you, would you like to add Portainer? I'm gonna press Y for yes. So return or enter. Now it's installing Portainer. Then now it's gonna ask you, would you like to add Docker Compose? I'm gonna say Y and then return or enter. Now it's customized the container, cleaned it up, and then completed successfully. So now we have a working Portainer. So now I'm gonna to go to the IP address. So I'm gonna copy it right here. And then I'm going to um, go, go, go to it in my browser. So 9443. And then now I'm going to type HTTPS. So HTTPS can sell sign certificate and then the, the IP for the portainer and then 9443 as the port. So I'm gonna to go to it. And then now we have it up and running, so you can um, type your username or password, confirm password. You can also restore a portainer, uh, a backup right here. And I'm going to type in a password. Okay, now it needs to at least be 12 characters, so password and confirm password. And then now you can turn off the collection of anonymous statistics. You can turn that on or off. So I'm going to create a user. So now we, we are in uh, side of the portainer. So you can go to home. You can see the local. And that uh, now if you have portainer agent on another uh, node, uh, you can add it to the environment. I have a video on that as well. Uh, and, and then you'll see your other nodes right here. But lo local means it's on this current node. So you can go into it, you can see the stacks, the image, the networks, the container, the volumes, and then you can see it over here as well. 
you can see app templates to install things. You can see stacks to where you can add a Docker Compose. And then you can see the containers running, the images, and then networks, volumes, events. And then you can see a host details, engine details, set up and registries. You can go down here and see um, a users. So username, password, confirm password, administrator, add to teams. So you can add um, more users. You can see the environments, the groups, the tags, and then the registries, and then um, the authentication logs, which is locked off because it's business edition only, and then no notifications, and then the settings, authentication, edge, compute, and about. So that's a little bit about Portainer. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Portainer running on Proxmox LXC. Uh, a De a Debian. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.